In the vast tapestry of the Myers-Briggs type indicator, each personality type brings with it a unique set of strengths, quirks, and challenges. The INFJ, often dubbed as the advocate or counselor, stands out as an enigma wrapped within the intricacies of human behavior. Representing a mere 1-2% of the global population, the INFJ is known for its visionary thinking deep empathy, and profound insights into the human psyche. Yet, alongside their compassionate nature lies an aura of intensity that many find intimidating. But what is it that gives them this imposing presence? This video delves into the intricate layers of the INFJ personality, unpacking the elements that contribute to their perceived intimidation and the misunderstood depth beneath the surface rare occurrence in population. Navigating the complex web of human personalities, the INFJ emerges as a particularly rare gem. The scarcity of this personality type is itself a significant contributor to the aura of mystique and, by extension, intimidation that surrounds them. With such a limited representation, the behaviors, thought processes, and emotions that are typical for INFJs aren't as commonly understood as those of more prevalent types. This unfamiliarity can naturally lead to a sense of intrigue and caution. In most social or professional settings, people tend to encounter personality types that are more commonly represented, making these types more predictable in the eyes of many. On the contrary, an encounter with an INFJ is not an everyday occurrence. Their unique combination of depth, empathy, insight, and intuition framed by their rarity can sometimes translate into an experience that many might find unsettling or hard to decode. This rareness also means that fewer people have had close personal relationships with INFJs, reducing the collective understanding of how they think and react. People are often wary of the unknown and Without frequent interactions with INFJs, it's easier for misunderstandings or misconceptions to take root. For instance, the intensity with which an INFJ listens or the depth of their convictions can come off as overwhelming, even if their intentions are genuinely benevolent. Depth of Intuition At the core of the INFJ's unique makeup lies their dominant cognitive function, Introverted intuition, often denoted as nine. This function grants them an uncanny ability to perceive the undercurrents of situations, forecast future outcomes, and understand complex patterns that might elude others. It's as if they possess an internal compass, continually pointing them toward deeper truths and insights, and allowing them to see beyond the immediate, beyond the tangible. While intuition is a gift that all humans possess in varying degrees, the intensity and focus of the INFJ's intuitive abilities are particularly striking. Their minds are often a flurry of insights and connections, joining dots that others might not even see. This means that an INFJ can often arrive at conclusions or make predictions that, to an outsider, might seem to come out of the blue. Yet, for the INFJ, these insights are the result of a deeply internal, intricate processing of information. Such depth of intuition, while a powerful tool for understanding and navigating the world, can also contribute to the intimidating aura of the INFJ. When someone can seemingly see through situations, or even, at times, people, it can be disconcerting. It's not that INFJs are mind readers, but their insights can often give that impression. Their capacity to grasp the essence of a matter, sometimes even before it fully unfolds, can make others feel exposed or even predictable. Passionate Idealism The INFJ personality type is often characterized by a burning passion for ideals. These are not fleeting or casual aspirations, but deeply held beliefs about the world, humanity, and how things ought to be. 
This passion is not just an abstract notion, but a driving force that shapes their perceptions, decisions, and interactions. Infused with a vision for a better world, INFJs are not content with mere daydreams. They fervently believe in the possibility of turning those dreams into reality. Whether it's championing for better justice, advocating for ethical practices, or simply striving for personal authenticity in their lives, their idealism knows no bounds. Their aspirations are often larger than life, and this larger-than-life vision can, at times, set them apart from those around them. But it's not just the size or scope of their ideals that can be intimidating. It's the depth of their conviction. When an INFJ believes in something, they believe with an intensity that can be both inspiring and overwhelming. They're not easily swayed by popular opinion or external pressures which can make them come across as stubborn or unyielding. In discussions or debates, this unwavering conviction can make them seem formidable opponents, especially when they're defending a cause close to their heart. Boundary setting. Intrinsically aware of their emotional capacities and the depths of their intuition, INFJs are often attuned to the necessity of establishing clear boundaries. These boundaries serve as protective measures, ensuring that their energy, time, and emotional well-being are preserved. This awareness comes from a profound understanding of their own needs, as well as their natural inclination to give deeply of themselves. For an INFJ, boundaries can manifest in various ways. They might limit the time they spend in large social gatherings to avoid sensory and emotional overload. They could also be selective about the individuals they allow into their inner circle, ensuring that their relationships are mutually nurturing. Moreover, when it comes to sharing their personal thoughts or feelings, INFJs might choose to remain guarded until they feel a true sense of trust and safety. While such boundary setting is vital for the INFJ's well-being, it can sometimes be misinterpreted by others. Their need for solitude or their selective nature in relationships can come off as aloofness or exclusivity. Their reluctance to immediately open up can be seen as a sign of secrecy or distance. And when they assert their boundaries, whether by declining invitations, requesting personal space, or being direct about their needs, it can be viewed as a form of rejection. Emotional intensity. Behind the quiet demeanor of the INFJ lies a world of emotions that run deep and vast. These emotions, like a powerful undercurrent, influence not only how they perceive the world, but also how they engage with it. This emotional depth is both a blessing and a challenge, a gift that allows them to connect with others profoundly and a burden that can make them feel immensely. One of the hallmarks of the INFJ personality is their profound empathy. They have an innate ability to tune into the emotions of others, often sensing feelings that might not be immediately apparent. This deep-seated empathy allows them to offer comfort, understanding, and support in ways that few can. However, it also means that they absorb emotions, both joy and pain, from their environment, making them susceptible to emotional exhaustion. Their own emotional landscape is just as complex, INFJs experience emotions with a certain intensity, feeling joys and sorrows deeply. When they are moved, they are genuinely moved, and when they are hurt, the pain can be piercing. This intensity can sometimes catch others off guard. When an INFJ expresses their emotions, it's often with a passion that can be surprising, especially given their typically reserved exterior. While this emotional depth enables the INFJ to connect with others in meaningful ways, it can also be the source of their perceived intimidation. To many, strong displays of emotion, especially from someone usually so composed, can be unsettling. The INFJ's intuitive ability to understand and articulate emotions can make others feel vulnerable or exposed, 
as if the INFJ can see right through them. Direct Communication Style The INFJ, despite being primarily known for their empathetic and introspective nature, also possesses a distinct trait that might surprise many, a tendency towards direct communication. This attribute is a byproduct of their deep commitment to authenticity and their desire for clarity in relationships and interactions. At the core of the INFJ's communication style is a commitment to truth. They value genuine dialogue and are often driven by a need to understand and be understood. When they communicate, they strive to get to the heart of the matter, cutting through superficialities or ambiguities. This directness is not about being confrontational, but rather about seeking clarity. They believe that true connection and understanding arise from clear, honest exchanges. Their natural intuition and ability to pick up on underlying meanings often allow them to perceive inconsistencies or discrepancies in conversations. When they sense these, they might probe further or seek clarification to ensure alignment between words and intentions. This can sometimes come across as intense or overly analytical, but for the INFJ, it's a way of ensuring that the conversation is genuine and meaningful. However, this directness is always tempered with their innate empathy. They are acutely aware of the emotions and sensitivities of others. While they might be forthright in their communication, they also strive to be kind, making sure their words do not unnecessarily hurt or offend. This balance between directness and empathy creates a unique communication style, one that is candid but caring. Yet, in a world where indirectness or sugarcoating is often the norm, the INFJ's straightforward approach can sometimes be misconstrued. Their desire for clarity can be perceived as bluntness, and their probing questions might be seen as intrusive. This misinterpretation can lead to the perception of them being intimidating or overly intense. For the INFJ, navigating this dichotomy is a continuous journey. They must find the balance between staying true to their authentic, direct communication style and ensuring that their messages are received in the spirit they are intended. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button.